Hi, this is Al again. Today we're going to talk about making a makeshift compass. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but the one thing that I think that you want to use or that you want to carry around with you is a magnetized needle. What we have in our bug out bag is a um, sail needle, basically. And it's rather large. You can see it's uh, got a, a different type of point on it, a larger uh, sized eye on it, which is great for me because I'm, I'm older and blind as a bat. So no, I'm not really blind as a bat. But this is what we use. And you want to keep this actually with your knife. That's what I do. You know, you do whatever you need to do, but this is a magnetized needle that if for some reason I lose my compass, I can use this needle to uh, find direction. I do not recommend doing what I'm about to do at all. It's very dangerous. You do it at your own risk. I don't recommend that you do it. If you do it, that's, that's up to you. The best way to magnetize something is with an industrial a magnet, but if you're in a situation where you don't have one, uh, you can go ahead and use a battery. The problem with a battery is it could potentially overheat and explode. Do this at your own risk. I I can't I can't uh, express that more. But what I want to show you is uh, my compass here, and it's pointed north. And I want to take the needle. I have not magnetized this one yet. I'm going to place it in water. I want to show you that it's not magnetized. This needle is just pretty much just going to float in the water. Now, you obviously, you can use a leaf or something of that nature when you're using something to float in the water, but you can see the needle's not doing anything right now. So what we're going to do, take our needle and uh, we're going to place it on a battery. Again, I don't recommend that you do this. But if you're you know, in a survival situation, you may have a battery and you may be able to do this. With the battery, you want to make sure that your pointy end that you're going to use to point north is on the negative part of the battery. Uh, electricity flows from positive to negative in a circle. So putting the pointy end that you have pointing towards north on the negative end is going to make that end positive, which is going to point towards north. So I'm using the pointy end, and the eye is going to be my south end. All right? And what you're going to do is you're just going to slide it into uh, the battery itself. And you want to be very careful here because it's, it, it can give you a little bit of a zap and it's going to heat up a little bit too. So you, you do this at your own risk. We're going to let this sit here for a uh, period of time to magnetize. Then at that point we'll pull it out and I'll show you the difference. We've let this sit here for a period of time. Uh, the battery is a little bit warm. Pull the needle out. A little bit uh, warm to the touch. Here's the here's the pointy end, which is is the positive side that's going to point to north. We're going to go ahead and stick this in the water. Now, this these things have a tendency. I'm going to put it offset. You can see where north is on my compass. I'm going to put it offset just to show you. Uh, I may touch this thing because this cardboard tends to drift towards the side of the bowl. I want to keep it from doing that. But you can see that the needle is turning towards. the north and it's gonna it's a little windy out here too you can see how the winds affecting it a little bit but if you give it a second or two there you go you've got a northerly heading if you take a look at the needle you can take a look at my compass they're both the same it gives you a general direction of north you can guesstimate which is you know east and west based on that there you have it. That's an easy way to magnetize a needle to, to make a, a makeshift compass in the field. There are some other ways. You can use the sun, which I'll show you uh, in another video. By the way, I want to let you know we do have a new Facebook page. It's called Survival State of Mind. I would welcome you to it to check it out. We've got, uh, we've got some good stuff on there about being prepared and, and doing different things to keep your family ready for any, any kind of thing that may come up. Survival State of Mind. Talk to you later.